Hi there, welcome to Season Network, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, you're going to hear Pastor Bakari. Bakari. Uh, he says um, um, to protesters, um, yeah, you have a right to protest, well said, um, but do not turn Nigeria to a battlefield. Um, it is not the pa protesters that he should be talking to. Uh, Pastor Bakari should be talking to the government. Um, the government know full well who and who are doing whatever. Um, the job of the government is actually protect the protesters. They are actually meant to protect the, the peaceful protesters. That's their job. Um, telling them to stay away and everything else and say to them, no, 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 uh, you cannot protest. They don't even cause up. That's not right. What the government should be doing is targeting anybody that is trying to disrupt a peaceful protest uh, that, uh, pe that, that people are trying to use to show how discontented they are with the government. That's what should happen. So uh, he's partly right. We don't want any battle battlefield. And again, what you see going up across the screen that I'm showing you is section 14.2 and 14.2c. I want everybody to have uh, access to that. Because what that will shows you is the powers that you possess as a sovereign. But I want the pastors, the pastors so far, they don't talk about it. He will talk about don't fight. He will talk about don't destroy things. But the next step, the critical step, making people aware of their rights. You will never hear a pastor say it or an imam. They won't. They are all just saying to you, do not turn it to back. We're not interested. If you truly want to help the citizens as a pastor and as an imam, you will let them know the section 14.2 that you see screen on the screen. At state, um, sovereignty belongs, for section 14.2 a state, sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through this constitution, derives all its powers and authority. That is what you should be doing. You should be actually putting that forward. And furthermore, you should go on and let them know section 14.2 C. The participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. And there is a section B there, 14.2B, that actually talks about the, the primary purpose of government shall be uh, provision of, sa uh, of safety and security for the citizens. That's the primary purpose. So yeah. the people who want to protest must be protected by the government, not confronted or attacked. And the people who are trying to disrupt it must be arrested. So we are separating the peaceful protesters from the thugs who want to come in and give the impression that the peaceful protest is being done by people who don't care. That is not true at all. Let's listen to what you have to say. And as you're, as you're listening, take note of the uh, above comment, um, the words there. You will see that um, Pastor Barake, ba ba Pastor Bakari, and all yeah. the other imams, I know Yedepo and uh, Odisha, all of them, they will never once mention what you've seen on the screen. So we are calling on the, uh, the pastors and the imams. Start letting the people know their constitutional rights, the fact that they're sovereign. We're giving you, you should be saying it from your pulpit. You're not all of this nonsense talk about prayers. We're not interested in that. We want the people to know the powers they possess. And when they know the powers they possess, guess what? They will protect the properties and everything else, and they will make sure that they hold their governance to account. What you've been teaching in the churches and the mosques has prevented the people from actually holding the government to account. You've actually regro you, you've, you've, you've regressed the people through your teachings your teachings as imams and and, and 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 pastors you've regressed the the development of the of the citizen and it's a shame on you all shame on you all um let's carry on let's listen to this if you can't speak god's word if you can't speak peace into the atmosphere if you cannot bring about a change in the hearts of the leaders and the led then the best way you can do it is what I'm showing you on the screen. If you're going to preach, let's get it right. Then let the citizen, let the sovereign know the rights. From your pulpit, the words you see on the screen, you should be preaching it on, from your pulpit. If you're really serious about the welfare and the well-being of the people, if not, if it, 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 uh, unless you're you are really being, being disingenuous with us. The real intention here is to keep the people yeah. in the churches and the mosques not caring about their own lives outside of those environments. You don't care about the roads, the yeah. no water, no light. You don't, get, you don't care. And we are telling you, you have the powers. They have the powers they can use to actually begin to hold their governance to account. And all you are here telling us about religion. Religion is not going to give them water. It's not going to give them roads. It's not going to give them food. It's not going to give them health care. It's not going to give them uh, ways in which they can actually be hold their government to account. 
and we are showing you on the screen. I call on every pastor, every imam. What you see, 14 2 a and 14 2 c, start teaching, start letting people know about it in your in your pulpit, or, or on your doing your 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 pre, your whatever your preachings or whatever you want to say from your pulpit. Let them know their rights so they can empower themselves. They are sovereigns. Stop making them view themselves as sinners or, or slaves. Sinners in the case of Christians and slaves in the case of, of, of Islam. Enough of this nonsense. Listen to what he has to say here. Um, again, you will see that none of this, anything, you, he will not mention anything that you see scrolling across on the screen. Share this broadcast. Let us reach more people. Don't forget, subscribe to Citizen Ewa on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to Citizen Ewa. Hit the notification button. And of course, give us the thumbs up and help us reach more people. Um, we really do appreciate your support. But this is a very important thing that we need to begin to do on a regular basis um, within our community. Uh, this is not acceptable. We need, we are calling on all the pastors and imams. They need to begin to share the knowledge of the, the sovereign rights that the people possess. If they truly care for the people, they will need them, let them know their rights so they can be empowered enough to begin to hold their governance to account. Very important. Let's carry on. Because you do not know what these people face, and he who wears the shoes knows where it pinches. Nobody wants to be tagged a failure. They might not understand what is happening, but there's a God in heaven who gives wisdom to rulers, and he will help our nation. listen to the people and actually we want people to actually lead their government by participating in their government using the powers as you see on the screen sovereignty belongs to the people of nigeria from whom the government through this constitution derives all its powers and, uh, and authority you're seeing it on the screen that is what you should be preaching from your pulpit but you're not doing it i'm providing evidence here anybody quote me yeah. doubt me if you can, leave a comment to go to the contrary. If anybody has proof of where the pastors and imams have been saying and, and quoting and mentioning the constitution, particularly section 14.2a and 14.2c, uh, please share it. Share it. Share the video. I'll share it here. I've not, I'm yet to see, I am yet to see it. That's the plain fact. Let's go ahead. Violence will not erupt in this land. Peace will reign supreme. In the mighty name of Jesus. The best way to ensure violence won't erupt is for the people to be taught and for them to be from your pulpit to let people know that they're sovereigns in their land and they have powers to hold their governors to account. Not praying to uh, some god of, uh, in, in the sky, either Islam or Christian. It's time to wake up from this nonsense. It's time to wake up from this nonsense. Yes. Oh, pastor, are you saying they should not protest? It is a fundamental human right to protest but please. Yes, I'll give him that. He agrees with that. But the next step is what they have not mentioned, what you see on the screen. They have a right to protest, like he said. But the next step now, I am calling on every pastor, every imam. Let the citizens know that they are sovereign and they have powers to hold their governor to account. Not telling them to beg their government. You are, re you are regressing our people with, the, with, the, with this, this pulpit, pulpit, pulpit lies that you're all spe spewing keeping our people in the dark and we need to speak up about it don't break down the little infrastructure we have and don't let it turn into a bloodbath i want you to know that i led protests in this nation and even phones that were lost in the battleground were returned nobody hurt anyone no all the more reason for the citizens to know that they're sovereigns once they understand their sovereigns and their powers to hold, control their government their focus will be now to make sure that they can hold their government to account rather than destroying what is actually theirs without knowing without the knowledge of knowing that they're sovereigns many of them believe that the country what the government says goes they don't know that they can actually control the government and we need to wake that we have to change that fundamental uh, 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 misinformation the the people are sovereigns and we need to make that awareness go deep. We are calling on the churches and the mosques to begin to share this knowledge about the constitution that you see on the screen. If you are true, if you truly care for the people, you will let them know that they are sovereigns and they can hold their governance to account. But if you want to keep them in the dark, well, we will know you're after your pocket. And your actions will speak far louder than your words. Let's go ahead. Nobody kill anyone. 
You can make your point without letting anything be destroyed. And the government and the leaders also should restrain themselves not to turn simple protests into a bloodbath. The nation is on an edge now. Now, don't push us into the precipice. Can I, can I hear? Uh, amen. amen. So, anyway, so you've had that now. So, that's what I wanted to say. I am calling on all the pastors and all the imams. What you see scrolling above me there, what you see scrolling there, just to my, uh, 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 to my uh, uh, left as you're watching on the screen, what you see scrolling there, that is something that is very important for every citizen to be aware of from age of four. You need to know that you are sovereign, you have authority, and you have power. And it states so in, the, in, the, in what you see on the screen. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria, from whom the government, through this constitution, derives all its powers and authority. That's section, four, section 14 2 And, of course, it goes on to say in Section 14 2 the participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. You are seeing it scrolling across on the screen to my left as you watch. What I want you to do is to take a copy of that and share it, particularly to those who are going to do the, do the protest. And also, I have the Yoruba version. I'm going to quickly say that in Yoruba, but I'm going to do a, come back and do a program in Yoruba where you will see it in, its, in Yoruba in its entirety. But I'll say it here. What in Chui, in Yoruba, Abalake, in Lake Kuti, A, Ijoba, Dieti, and Wenyo, Nigeria, Lati, Ojoni, Ti, Joba, Nekwa, She, Osun, Ule, Di, Nga, Di, Ogbara, Ti, She, Agbara, She, Eni, Obala, She, Ni, Elashe pelu agbara elele o si gbere si mi gbere fun lowo ijoba eh nu iwe keji te ma ka fun yin sin abala keren lai se keji si o so pe iko pa awon eniyan ninu ijoba won gbodo we daju ni ibamuko ilu awon eyan fun orilede yi itun mo yen ni pe ele ko pa ninu ijoba ele yi ki nse oro boye e ko ma di bolasan eh e ko pa be si ma ko pa ni pe e ma bere fun di awon ijoba ni gbere tori pe eyin le ni ase ati agbara e du won bere lori owo ti won ba gba lati fi se adugo yin e lo lo gba awon wo ni won gba wo kan fi sise yin e lo lo se ku eh ba awon lo ma pari se yin e ma ma teli won lo se osu ke ma wa di nkan bayi o se pataki ti a bere fun gbegbe ke yin ti we mo se ni ke won sha wale yin lekan si eh ikopa awon eniyan abala keren lese keji si ikopa awon eniyan ninu ijoba won gbodo we daju ni ibamuko ilu awon eyan fun orilede wa wa so ni ede yi o lai ko